2017 Toyota Corolla LE. The car is in park, and I'm gonna pull on the parking brake. This is the drain plug for the engine oil. I'm gonna use a 14 millimeter socket to break it loose. This is the oil filter. Here's the drain plug. I'm gonna put the drain plug back on. I'm gonna tighten it up. You don't need to tighten it so much. Don't over tighten. I'm gonna talk about the oil filter. If you got oil filter that look kind of like this, then you got the spin on oil filter. If it looks different, then if it doesn't look like this, then you probably got the cartridge type filter. If you got the cartridge filter, then the procedure to remove the oil filter is going to be different. To remove the oil filter, I'm going to use this wrench, oil filter wrench. This new filter have like a plastic to cover the, I guess cover from dust. That is where the oil filter is going to be screwed onto. When it touch the base, I'm gonna turn it a quarter. I'm gonna give it a quarter turn. I'm gonna put this tape here. So once the tape ends up here, it'll be a quarter turn. Actually, I messed up. I'm gonna give it three fourth turn. Once the tape get here, It'll be a three-fourth turn. Usually I'll mark it with a marker, but I don't have a marker, so I use a tape. I can first see if I could do it by hand. Again, it's not a quarter turn. It should be three-fourth of a turn. Oh, darn, it turned the wrong way. 
So actually, it gotta be this way around. The tape needs to be right here. I'm gonna use the wrench now because it's getting hard to turn on. The tape was right here, it's here now, so it's about three four of a, of a turn. Should be good enough now. So let's go over this one more time. I keep saying a quarter turn, but it's not a quarter turn. Once the oil filter touch the base, you want to give it three fourth of a turn. Then it should be tight enough after you turn it three fourth. Time to put the oil to, into the engine. This is the cap for the engine oil. If you can't open it, you could use a plier to grab onto it and then turn. So the way I'm doing this is I'm adding oil, checking the level, adding and checking the level. This is the dipstick to check the level of the oil. This is the dipstick. There's a dot there and a dot there. This dot should be the low mark and this is the high mark. The new oil is kind of, it's very light, so you can't really see the color. The dark are from the, I guess from the old oil. Because obviously there's still a little bit of old oils in there. So there's old oil mixing with the new oils. I'm gonna drive the car down the ramp and I'll check the oil level again. Because if the car is up like this, I cannot get an accurate check. I gotta add a little more. This dipstick, when you put it in, you got to put it in like this. If you turn it this way or this way, it's not going to go in. 